Today's video is brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and GrowPockets.com. Thanks for your support. This year I've had a little problem with hornworms eating the tomatoes. They're usually fairly easy to find because they leave their calling cards behind in fairly large clumps. Their droppings usually just fall down onto the ground right below. So you just follow the trail up and it's not too difficult to find them. It's also easy to tell when you have one because they will have no problem stripping the leaves off of the plant and there's just not much left compared to the plants that are still okay. It can be quite difficult to try to pull off, so a lot of times I'll just cut off the leaf that they're on and get rid of the whole thing. They'll also damage the fruit too. They'll dig right in and start chomping down on that. So a lot of times they'll scar over and keep growing. Sometimes I'll pull them off. This one I'll just leave alone and let it keep growing. Not marketable, but we can use it ourselves. Here's a fresh dropping on top of this tomato. It's still green. Work right up. Here's one that's dried a bit. We'll keep going up. And there he is. Look at that, he ate a whole bunch of tomato right on here and he's still chowing down. I don't know what it is about these things, but they're pretty gross. I don't like touching them. They're all squishy and disgusting. So here's five that I quickly found and I'll look for some more tonight. I normally would uh, think about feeding them to the fish, but since these have been eating tomatoes, I don't know if their waste product will be toxic from the tomatoes. I know if leaves get into the fish tank, it can harm some fish. So to uh, dispose of them, um, I don't have any chickens to feed them to. They would love those. So for now, I just take them and drop them in some water and drown them. It's sort of nasty squishing them underfoot. And drowning them works just fine. If you really want to find a lot of these caterpillars, invest in one of these UV lights. This one was about $20 and you come out at night, shine it on your plants and you'll have no problem finding your caterpillars. So I think I've picked off all of the caterpillars now, but it's really hard to be 100% sure. So lastly, as a preventative measure, I'm going to put Dipel on all the tomato and pepper plants just to uh, make sure I can kill them off while they're still young. I don't know how well it works on the larger caterpillars, but uh, Dipel works really well on small caterpillars. So if I have some small ones in here, um, it should definitely uh, kill them off. If you found these tips useful for finding and preventing hornworms, let me know. It's also great if you could help support this channel by joining Patreon. Thanks for watching.